Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. I wanted to show you how to make one of our favorite desserts. It is an Oreo cheesecake and it is so, so good. Pretty easy and it doesn't take too much time. So here we go. All the ingredients are linked below. First of all, you take the whole package of Oreos, you split them into the cookie part and the icing part and just kind of split those um, you know, between the bag and the bowl, and then you can um, seal the bag and crunch the cookies. I do that with a rolling pin. You can do it any way you want, but just get them as fine as you can. I also use the Nutribullet to kind of make that finer. You separate a half cup of the cookies, um, set those aside for later to use on top, and then you add the five tablespoons of melted butter to the remaining parts of Oreo and mix that together to make the base of the crust. You just mix it until the butter is completely mixed through. Then you press it into the bottom of a pie plate. You can use a springform pan. That's what the recipe actually calls for. I forgot to add in all the ingredients, but those are listed below. You put them on the stove and mix them until they're completely creamy. It's cream cheese, sugar, the Oreo filling, and vanilla. You warm your milk and place the gelatin in there and mix until smooth. Once that's all smooth, you're gonna add it to your cream cheese mixture on the stove and mix it until there's starting to be bubbles forming in the cream cheese mix. That is what I am showing here. It's nice and thickened. Um, it doesn't drip too, too quickly and um, it will pour easily. You pour that into your pie plate um, or your pie pan or your springform pan. Um, it looks like it's gonna overflow, but I promise it won't. Then just kinda try and smooth that to get some of the bubbles out. Once all the bubbles are out, you are good to move on to the next step. Some of the bubbles won't come out because it's actually part of the cookie. I use a sifter to help kind of put this on evenly, but this is the half cup of Oreo crumbs. You just put those on top to kind of dress it up and make it look a lot more finished, in my opinion. This is what it looks like before you put it in the refrigerator. You are going to refrigerate this for four hours to let it set and let the gelatin kind of make the cream cheese a little more thick. This is what it looks like at the very end. It's so, so good, very easy, like I said, and it tastes delicious. So um, a good dessert for little hands to help with, in my opinion. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you make it and you like it or you don't, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.